tutorial and as you can see this is another one of my creations I call it bumping into the new year now I know many of you call this Bantu knots but growing up in Jamaica when my mom used to wash and style my hair this is one of the styles that she would do all over my head but she did not call them Bantu knots she called them China bumps so I'm going to call them my China bumps anyway this style took forever for me to recreate that's why I'm working backwards today I didn't want to take it out and do it again and not have it look like it did when I did it the first time but um, the flat twist took forever I couldn't see the back on what I was doing so I had to feel my way through the flat twist making sure it was straight I will put the flat twist in it was crooked take it out when you make the Chinese bumps it can be really really tight so I had to figure out a way as to not twist my locks too tight to make it uncomfortable so that took another 30-40 minutes to figure out how to make these bumps without making them too tight anyway this is a 360 oops. this is a 360 of the final look And here's what I did. The first thing I did was section a top portion of my hair for the Chinese bumps. And then the rest I sectioned off for the flat twist. Now on this side, I made seven flat twists going more than halfway to the other side. And I stopped at a certain point about right here. And then on the other side, I made three flat twists to meet the other side of where the seven flat twists ended.
I made right here. I made mini buns. <laughs> But for added security, I just went ahead and put one hairpin just to make sure it's secured. And that's how I created the little buns going down on the side of the look. Not the Chinese bumps. For the Chinese bumps, I created 11 bumps at the top, and this is what I did. I just took a section, twisted it, then I held the base of the bump, and I started wrapping at the top rather than starting at the bottom because I found when I started wrapping from the bottom it was way too tight so I started from the top and then I went to the bottom secured it with just one rubber band. taking you through the entire step from beginning to end but this was my first time creating this style and, and I doubt I would have been able to recreate the same look the second time around so I just showed you you know bits and pieces of how I put the look together I hope it works out for you Watch
kitchen and as always keep it natural keep it locked keep it